This is KD582. This Bob looks like the Painter Pen Adapter Project is finally complete. So I'm kind of dialing up and down the dial now. And I'll tell you, it was a pain in the neck, but to finally get it done, but it was, uh, it's proven to have been worth the effort. So let me dial in for a second here, just a, a right, little left click gets me on frequency. And the, the thing, it's, it's easy to forget that this is not really contr control software. The only part of the bank, it's a separate receiver. So the receiver controls that we see are only affecting the SDR play. They're not actually affecting the rig uh, radio. So, so I'm clicking up and down, of course, but when I, when I click on these filters, it doesn't affect what the rig's doing. And when you think about it, it, it really makes sense. Uh, it's kind of obvious, but but it's not intuitive. For example, and the delay, the audio on the on the SDR play is slightly delayed from the audio on the on the uh, on the rig. I'll, I'll demonstrate that in just a second. There we go. I, I dial it in a little better. But I'm going to turn on the radio, the, the volume on the rig. And you can hear a little echo going on because that's it's showing there's a slight delay through all the processing of the receiver software. So I'll turn down the audio here. That's the audio straight from the rig. Then I'll turn down the rig and turn up the audio. Very definitely a much more clear signal out of the uh, SDR play. Audio sounds a lot better than the actual rig audio. So, and plus, uh, uh, it really is better signal. And uh, it is. This has been an IF connection. Uh, I had uh, with some people up in. Uh, uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, have put in the IF connector on the back of the of the of the 570. And it costs about 150 bucks. If you're interested in that, uh, I will. Uh, I'd be happy to let you know. Just, just uh, I could probably put his name in this in this Facebook post if you're really interested. But uh, it it's worth the effort. This uh, I did find a uh, an RSP A1 uh, from another ham. I didn't have to pay the full HRR price of 120. I actually got it for 90 bucks. Uh, uh, he'd only had about 10 hours on it. So uh, once again, KD5 ET uh, demonstrated the, the final result after a few months of dinking around with the SDR play. It's uh, finally integrated and working. The next step I need to do is integrate it with the control software uh, uh, with HDR and, uh, uh, and we'll go there. One last thing I'll show you is the activity on, that's uh, down in the digital section. I think, uh, I don't know if we're listening to, that's, I think that's gonna be FT8. Here's down the PSK territory and uh, no real PSK traffic going on there. But that's it. And you can see down across digital and I can also also left click to get back to there. Anyway, now let's let's dial into let's dial into Marina, Maritime Net and see if there's anybody on. No, don't see anybody on there now. Anyway, it's been Katie Five Eighteen. Um, um, clear. Have a great day.